I'm Jeff Bjorsel, uh, I'm from UCAD Labs. Uh, so we're uh, at TESDEV in Paris, uh, at TESDEV Developer Conference. Me and my team uh, from UCAD Labs, we're here to meet new developers interested in, to, in jumping into the TESDEV development space. I've personally been developing uh, in and around TESDEV since uh, 2018, before the actual network launched. I was very curious about what TESDEV was, because I had this on-chain governance, which solves one of the core reasons that I didn't want to get into blockchain. Uh, so I was very curious about it. Uh, as is the classic developer story is, uh, you know, there's a developer has a niche and, and they try and scratch it. So when I was uh, setting up these different nodes and trying them out, um, I built some, some tools to, to make that job easier. And one thing led to another. ECAD Labs has been around for nearly 10 years now, and uh, we're uh, kind of traditional uh, infrastructure software development uh, company. In late 2019, 2020, we pivoted to uh, to working full time in Tezos uh, because that was uh, that was the work that brings us most joy. Before Tezos, what was keeping me away from blockchain was um, a couple of things. Um, there's the the energy cost of, of blockchains it seemed a little bit uh, excessive to me at the time, and also as a software developer and engineer, the idea that you have a blockchain that doesn't really uh, is difficult to upgrade. So with Bitcoin and Ethereum, you have this really messy social consensus problem of, of getting the blockchain to upgrade. Being a software engineer, the idea of not being able to upgrade your, your, your uh, foundational fabric is a problem. And then I was uh, nerd sniped by Tezos uh, when I, I read that it had this, on, this novel idea of on-chain governance, which is really genius and it works. Uh, so that, that's really what, what sort of broke my abstinence from blockchain, was the fact that Tezos came, uh, has this on-chain governance built in. And then add to the fact that it, uh, you know, formal verification was sort of a, a first-class concern for the network and it's proof of stake. My hope for blockchain is that it, it uh, solves actual social issues. Now, as a technologist, like I, I get quite enthralled with uh, you know the, the weeds of technical details, and, and that that's fun in, a, in and of itself. But it's uh, it's not really meaningful unless it has like a you know a human impact or social impact. I hope that Tezos and blockchain as a, as a whole really really drives some some productive social uh, change. With blockchain, I'm I'm hoping that it it uh, really does live up to this sort of uh, uh, permissionless concept. Uh, the idea of having gatekeepers in terms of like access to financial products or uh, banking and so on. Um, I think th th those, that sort of friction or those impediments is really perverse to society. Tezos and blockchains generally, I think it has, has a strong role to play in reducing those barriers. Uh, so, so that's what I'm hoping we see from, from Tezos and, and blockchain generally uh, to drive some meaningful social change. For developers new to Tezos and blockchain generally, um, uh, we, we have a, a general problem in, in the blockchain industry where there's a lot of these like uh, you know big words and abstract ideas, and uh, it's it's hard to get to the point where you know okay wh where do I begin? I'm a big fan of experiential learning. For new developers coming into the ecosystem, I generally encourage them to to come along and, and try it out. Uh, start by you know writing uh, writing a small application in the language of their choosing uh, that uh, you know might just read data from the chain and then level up after that start interacting with some smart contracts um, and this will, will help those individuals sort of like flesh out a, a mental model of what they're dealing with because blockchain is, is very abstract but it's not all that complicated um, as long as you can actually uh, you know uh, feel it and touch it and, and, and experience it it starts to make a lot more sense when you get there. To me in a phrase blockchain is it's a, it's a neutral uh, clearing ground uh, so it's a neutral space for people and institutions to, uh, to, to communicate to communicate, to trade, to do commerce. Um, and uh, that neutrality is, is a, a crucial element uh, about blockchain.